also the defending champions, Chris and Gabby Adcock, through to the final once more. Will they be playing against the three-time former champions, Fisher Nielsen and Pedersen? Or will it be the sensational young Chinese pair of Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Chin Chen? They were in five consecutive Super Series tournament finals earlier this year. One more semi-final this afternoon, this afternoon session, and it's women's singles, and it's the new world number one former champion here, Tai Su Ying, up against the winner of Group B. Group B was very, very tough group in the women's singles discipline, and it was Sun Yu, the tall athlete, who came through as winner of that group. Well, there is the former champion, Tai Su Ying, won the title here two years ago, looking to reach a third final at the Super Series finals, because she was beaten finalists three years ago. Her opponent is actually making her debut here at the Super Series finals. She's already been in four Super Series tournament finals this year. Can she make it five? Well, the tension builds for the women's singles finalists. World number one against Sun Yu. This is the Dubai World Super Series Finals Women's Singles Semi Final. Let's welcome the players. First out, the number one seed from Chinese Taipei, Tai Zhu Yi. The world number one, Tai Su Ying. Number one on the world ranking, number one at the end of the year as far as the Super Series standings are concerned. First time she's achieved that status, having competed in all 12 Super Series tournaments. Let's hear it for her opponent. The number three seed from China, Sun Yu. Sun Yu of China. One of only three women singles players here in Dubai not to win a Super Series title during the year. Carolina Marin, the world and Olympic champion, who hasn't made it out of the group stage. One of the others and the other player one of our semi-finalists in this evening's session, Sung Ji Hyung. Question number seven. Quite open. Quite open. Quite open. Quite open. The United States of America will be the service judge. No, I think Sun Yu chose ends there. Tai Su Ying, the 22-year-old from Kaohsiung, not the tallest of athletes, that is about five foot four. She is enjoying her third week as world number one. And it's extraordinary to think that when she won her first Super Series tournament of this year in Indonesia, she wasn't even seeded. Here she is as world number one. So four Super Series tournament finals for her this year. And in her group matches, she started off with the left-hander He Bing Jiao, and then the former world number one, Rachinok Intanon, who won three Super Series tournaments back-to-back -back earlier this year. But she lost yesterday's match to Sung Ji Hyung. That was the other player I was talking about who has not won a Super Series tournament this year. So, won two matches in two straight games, lost one match in two straight games. So to Sun Yu, and she, like her opponent, has been in four Super Series tournament finals this year. But unlike her opponent, she hasn't won any of them. Born in Dalian, in the 
province of Liaoning in northeastern China. She's enjoying her fourth week as world number six. That's a career high for her. She has won one Super Series tournament in the past, though. That was last year in Singapore. Well, she's won all of her matches in Group B. And as I was saying, what a tough match it was because she started against the world and Olympic champion, Carolina Marin. And what a close second game that was, despite having been 20-13 up. Eventually won on her ninth match point. The Olympic silver medalist was her opponent in the second match of the group, Pusala Venkata Sindhu. She won that in two straight games. And then the number two seed yesterday dropped the opening game against Akane Yamaguchi, but eventually won through in an hour and two minutes. Well, this is the sixth meeting between these two players. And it may surprise some people that Tai Su Ying has never beaten Sun Yu. The last time they met was in the semi-final of the China Premier Super Series. And as you can see, it was a very close second game. 46 minutes in total for that win in Fuzhou. And Christian Johannesson, our umpire, and our service judge from the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tsai Chu Ying, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Sun Yu, China. Tsai Su Ying to serve. Level, play. So the world number one, the former champion, trying to reach a third final at the one Super Series plus. finals, Tai Su Ying. The obvious question, Steen, is why does she struggle so much against Sun Yu? Is it purely a height difference? Uh, there's, there's definitely um, something about the height difference. Um, but um, the odd thing is that that she's an even score against Song Ji Hyun, whom she lost to yesterday. It's nine all Two. in head to heads oh. there. So. And, and she's as, almost as tall as, uh, as Sun Yu. I think, personally, that it's because Sun Yu has, um, in, in, um, in addition to her height, she has a very good attack. It's not only the reach, so over. whereas Song Ji Hyun's attack is perhaps not as dangerous. Um, One, she's got very good placement two. of the shots, but uh, the smash power and so on, that's, that's not a real threat from the Korean uh, player. Um, I read somewhere, though, that Tai Su Ying actually has beaten Sun Yu in a, in a private match lately, so she might have some confidence to feed off. But I must say I'm looking really forward to these two women's single semifinals. We have Sun Yu here, who I think have played the best badminton uh, so far in, in um, these Super Series finals. So over. She's up against, as you say, the number one in the world ranking, so Three, we shouldn't rule her one. out. No. And and in the other uh, semi-final, we have um, Sindhu, the Olympic yeah. silver medalist, who's just beaten the Olympic gold medalist and seems to be um, having the momentum here. So she's also a strong contender, and so is uh, Song Ji Hyun, because she's coming straight off a tournament win in Korea. So. Fantastic so over. Yeah. We've got here. Changing the Chinese Two, coach. Three. Yeah, here he is. So wonder Three, whether four. there's been psychological scarring as far as Tai Su Ying is concerned against Sun Yu because they met in the final of the Singapore Super Series last year. That's the only Super Series title that Sun Yu has ever won. And she was 17-20 down. So in other words, Tai Su Ying had three match point 
opportunities and ended up losing it. Yeah. And I wonder if uh, that perhaps so is silver. psychologically affected her. Probably, probably uh, has. Uh, that's Four, three. the uh, playing circumstances where I would normally favour Tai Su Ying because she's fast, she's got excellent touch and there's a lot of drift in the Singapore arena. But anyway, Sun Yun managed to win it. Five, three. Well, her four Super Series tournament finals this year, Sun Yu beaten in all of them. Singapore, Australia, Japan and China. Six finals in total, by the way. Two Grand Prix gold finals as well. Oh, delightful, isn't it? So it is intriguing. You've got a Tai Su Ying, who's never six, beaten her opponent. Three. You've got Sun Yu, who's been in six finals this year and doesn't seem hasn't won, hasn't won any of them. So who's the players in the other semi-final, they're rooting for Sun Yu. <laughs> Challenge yeah. here. Challenge here. The new challenges called out. Tells us that the judge made an error there. Correction. Service over. Four, six. Yeah, there was Play. slight hesitation before the line judge made the call there. There's obviously doubt in his mind. to consider and simply make history today because in the women's singles discipline at the Super Series finals, no player has ever been in three finals. Mm -hmm. Not only Tai Su Ying, who's been in two, but Wang Xiaoxian was in two, 2010, when she won and was beaten finalist a year later. The former Olympic champion, Li Shui Rei, twice won the title, 2012 and 2013, and Wang Yi Han who was beaten finalist last year, won in 2011, but there's no, been no women's singles player who's Six been in three finals. Seven, six, thank you. Got, I know we've talked about it earlier in the week and we've talked about it many times before, Steve. Seven, but the disguise four. on her shots is, is just wonderful to watch. Yeah. And that's what's going to help her through this match if she's to go into her third final. That is the disguises and deceptions. Um, she's got to mix it up so that there's a number of... Um, Eight efficient, fast-paced, quick shots, and then put in some disguises and deceptions in order to get Sunyu off her balance.
But it's a difficult task because of the reach the Chinese players got. There was good control on the night shot from Tai Su Ying. Nine, seven. And it's over. Yeah, just took a bit of pace off that, didn't she? Yeah. Eight. It's so important for, for Sun Yu to stay in balance because if she's a little off balance and Tai Su Ying is making one of her deceptions, then she will be in big, big trouble. Great shot, that one from Sun Yu, because it neutralizes Nine, everything. Four. I mean, how, how is Tai going to attack her from under the net? except with a deception. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh my so over. and placement, threaded Ten, it down the line. Nine. Nine, the sky skies on the punch clear. They did all the damage. And Tai Su Ying has a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in this opening game. Today she's wearing the compression stockings on the Wait calf muscles. Seconds. Or is it perhaps that it's just dark tape today on the left knee? She was wearing the knee support yeah. yesterday, so there's no difference there. Maybe just different coloured strapping that's making it look more obvious. I think so. Eleven nine play. eight points to Tai Su Ying. Serve is over. Ten, twelve. No, yeah, that's gone wide. I wondered if the serve may have dropped long there. Eleven. We'll, we'll never 12. know.
Good deception. She's covering the court well, in my opinion, Sunyu, for such a tall player. Yeah. Time is over. 13, 12. It takes good courage, well. doesn't it? Apart from the obvious skills needed to play a tight spinning net shot off your opponent's net shot, especially when your yeah, opponent is as tall as Sun Yu. St and standing there waiting for <laughs> yeah. it. it has to be, it has to be really perfect. precise. Yeah. Well, Sunday claims that it was a fault Thanks. that she took the shuttle before it had crossed over the net, but no fault was called. Let's have a look at this. No, yeah. that was fine. That was fine, in my opinion. What do you yeah, reckon? Yeah, I think it was fine as well. Yeah. I don't even think that was questionable, at least not in uh, replay. No, no. Well, that's jolly good umpiring. Because they have to make split-second decisions, we have the privilege of being able to look at it again. Service over. And then a gift of a service error. 13, 15. But again, it's it's really not that shot that she's um, calling for soon. Oh. It's the next one. Service so over. Advocating that. Uh, she might have been 16, over the net. You hope 13. to get the next call because, I mean, we've never seen an umpire change no. his or her opinion and say, no. oh, yeah, I think maybe after thinking about it, you're right, so uh, we'll change <laughs> it. That's not happening. No, of course it's not. So it's all about trying to influence the umpire and get a... For future decisions. Yes. That's a back break in that one. Good shot. Oh. Fantastic shot. Yeah. So it's over. Well, Tyson Yims round the head shots. 14. In that 16. Rally where she bends her back. Look at that. Yeah. Shot from Sunyu. That's a difficult shot under normal circumstances, but when you hit it almost on the line and play it straight down the line again, that's even more difficult. Oh, my goodness. Indecision. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Oh, it's gone wrong. I'd have a challenge there. 15, yeah. 16. No. Wipe the court, please. No, that's out. Yeah, it is out. I think it was... When it's that close and you haven't challenged all In the middle. match so far, I think I would have been tempted to have yeah. a little challenge. Yeah. Great dive early in the rally throw from Tai Su Ying. Yeah, she must have had a feeling that she's hit it a little bit too hard. 15, 16. Oh. Yeah. Well, 
she's challenging that one. Tai Tsui Ying challenges, call out. And she's been a little bit unlucky with those two deceptions because um, yes. clearly Sun Yu is biting on them. Mm. Moving in the wrong direction. Oof! Oh, wow, whisker. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 16 all play. So all level, 16 all. There's another one, but this time it's landed in. So it's over. That's good adjustment from Tai Sun Ying. Last two little hold and flicks, the last two rallies. She's hit just long. 17, 16. Eighteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Oh, it's a wild backhand. So it's over. Seventeen. 18. That is good judgment. So over. That, my goodness, especially at this crucial stage. 19, 17. My yeah. goodness me, that is good judgment. And serve. Serve is over. A low backhand is a lot 18, here towards the 19. end of the first game. Two costly errors there. Lucky net called from Sun Yu. Shannon sat on the top of the tape before trickling over. Open the middle. And then it's all level. 19 all. Yes. So who's going to get the game point? 19 all. Yeah, that's well worked. So Good courage. Over. Taking the rally to her opponent. Tai Su Ying. 20. Game point, 19. Well, it is the world number one who gets the game point opportunity. Short. Oh! Yeah. How casual was that? How good was that? First game From won by Tai Su Ying. 21-19. 21-19 confirms the umpire. She got her opponent out of position. And as calm as you like, just played the drop shot into the open space. 22 minutes for that excellent opening game. Playing around the 
head shot. So I don't know whether it's about Sun Yu or whether it's about Tai Sun Yin. Be playing Sun Yu as well, the head corner, because it's a little easier to hit that one precisely because she gets a little bit helped by the side grip there. So a little bit more safe than the forehand corner. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. All the results, all the news, all the quotes, that's where you need to go. Hashtag Babington Dubai. Second game. Level. Play. So Tai Su Ying, the world number one, one game to the good, one game away from making history. Oh, good defence. Yeah. Service over. One love. questioning her stamina, weren't we, in the China Open final, this yeah. lady. And uh, from seeing this tournament, I think it might have been nerves. Mm. No, she she's looked good this week. Yeah, she, uh, yesterday Love. she played um, Akane Yamaguchi in a match that actually meant very little for, for Sun Yu, and she lost the first game, but... Um, came back strong to win the next two games in, in a convincing style. These little deceptions that she has to cope with all the time from uh, the hand of Tai Su Ying, they, they might, um, it's tougher to recover and uh, change direction and go for these deceptions. So um, it might not be the, um, the cardio, but, but the um, muscle effects that you simply get tired in your legs by adjusting. Yeah. Changing direction, much more physically tiring. Oh, my goodness, look at that. You can see there, yeah. it's over. her legs are starting out in the direction towards the right side of the court and then must change. One, three. Like that. So over. Backhand <laughs> cross court nature, doesn't she? But four, it's a two. Bit of a desperation shot at times. I suppose that's the only thing really she can try. Yeah, that's sometimes the case, I think. Service so over. Three, four. 
Change the shuttle. She reads those, so it's not always that she gets a good return on it, but she's been really good at reading them. Mr. Overdone it, and she done so well earlier on in the rally, hasn't she? Yeah. Four all. I like that Tai Su Ying is firing a number of um, sort of um, um, powerful smashes away, but. Even though there's power in them, they're not meant to win. They're just meant to keep the pressure on Sun Yu. And I think that's that's worked beautifully for her. Mm. Oh, oh, that was, challenge, yeah. that. My goodness Tai Su Ying challenging. That was clearly in. Called out. I'm not sure it was clearly in, but um, I think it might have hit a little bit of the line. Steen, I've got brand new glasses, I'm telling you, that's in. Yeah, I got, my, <laughs> I got mine in my rucksack, so I might have to get them out. Well, it doesn't matter what we think, it's what Hawkeye thinks. There you are. Money well spent on my in. glasses. You said it was clearly in. <laughs> I said it might have caught a little bit of the line. <laughs> Five, four, I have to okay. say I'm that I've earned that cup of tea back here. Play. <laughs> or it's just very, very sharp glasses that you've got there, Jill, so <laughs> Six, you can distinguish four. that tiny little bit. Yeah. No change. Okay. Pass the shot. They don't call me eagle eye for nothing, I was, you know. <laughs> that's scary because that was exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, this is a good little spell, though, isn't it, from Tai Su Ying. Four straight points. Yeah, and six out of the last seven. Soon you might Seven, agree with that one, but that four. was a very hesitative call. Oof, crikey. Oh. Service over. Five, seven. Oh, that is absolutely delightful. So it's over. I just said she liked that backhand cross court net shot, but what a difference Eight. when she's taking it a bit Five. earlier. That's magnificent. Yeah. And that's what's so important that she mixes it up. Sometimes play the quick shot, sometimes put the deceptions on. So it's over. Much disguise on that reverse slice, straight drop from Tai Su Ying. Just Nine, watch Sun Yu's movement six. here. She's going in the wrong direction and just simply can't react. Yeah. 
here. So it's over. Quality of the net play doing the damage there. Yeah. And Seven. Not, not an easy shot nine. to finish the rally with because the shuttle tumbles. Service over. Oh, and it came off the frame of the racket. Ten. Tai Su Ying. Eight. It up as a wonderful drop shot. I'm not sure that's what she meant. Service so over. Back line. Nine. Ten. Plum on the line. Oh, missed a challenge here. Taisu Ying challenges called out. Have the first shot this time, Joel. I say, I say it's out. So you've got to go within. <laughs> I suspect you're right. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Ten all. Play. So it is Tai Su Ying who has 11, the advantage, 10, the just one solitary point advantage. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven ten. Play. Short backhand corner for a Tai Su Ying. There's a lot of deceptions that 12, are successful to that corner. Ten. <laughs> so it's over. Eleven. 12. Missed it. Back 
Neville. Twelve. Oh. She has that shot as well. Sun Yu, the reverse 13, slice, straight reverse 12. slice. Yeah, and it does come down from quite a height, doesn't it? Well, not the longest running of the match so far. We had one at 24 shots, I think, in the opening game. It's over. And the lead is short lived. 13 all. I think Ty has played well here also in the second game. But it's a very thin line she's walking because she has to attack, but she can't afford to attack too much so that she gets counter attacked. And she can't be too passive either. So let's see if she can find the right mix. I don't believe it. Good lift. Oh, that's fantastic. Unbelievable. The net exchange early on in that rally, and yeah. then that final 14, drop shot. Bent 13. double at it's her back. It's almost hit upwards. Look at that. Does she control that? Tai Su Ying and Gravity won that point. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, well, uh, Tai Su Ying's going to challenge. Challenges now, I thought that was in. definitely in. I thought that the line judge was hesitant, but I thought that. Yeah, she, she was actually on her way to um, uh, marking it out and then change the mic. Yeah. Well, I think in a moment, Tai Su Ying's going to be out of challenges. Yeah, she is out of challenges because that's clearly a challenge it. unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Service over. 14 or play. No challenges left. We 15, 14. Play. We have a chance to check. Oh no, that caught the line. Yeah. I think that's the right decision by the line judge. Sixteen, forty. Spell, isn't it from some new? Is it okay? Come on, guys, come on. Two point advantage now. Ah! 
17, 14. We have to say that um, she's playing it close. And you yeah, two shots exactly on the line, and one that shot that uh, stays on Tai Su Ying's side of the court. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, now Sun Yu is oh, challenging. Yeah. Now I thought that was on the line. Sun challenges called uh, I think she's going to waste a challenge here. Yeah, I think so too. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 15 17. Play. Trying the backhand serve again, Tai Su Ying. Serve 16, and for the net reply. 17. I got exactly what she wanted. <laughs> oh, look at that skill. Good read. Looks to me as if she changed her mind, Tai yeah. Su Ying. There was some good retrievals in that rally by uh, Sun Yu. 16. That one. Service over. Oh. Well, they're looking up at the giant screen. Christian Johannesson of Denmark it thought it came over. Do you know, I, I almost said, did that go over? Yeah. Here we go. Let's have another look at that. Oh, 17, my 18. goodness, well spotted umpire. Yeah, but uh, there's no doubt it's a new. She thought it stayed on the other side. She was cheering immediately. that because there's no challenge and Tai Su Ying is back level. Right court, please. Yeah, good call mind judge, that was wide. Well, 18 all. Oh, 
19. Right now it's really 18. nice to have the first game in the back yeah. when it's so close here in the second. And I think Ty is going to go very sharp at the net if she gets the possibility. Yeah, it's a low backhand serve again. Oh, that's great play. Brilliant. Brilliant clear. Played with disguise and one point away from making history. 20, Tai match Su Ying. Point 18. Two match point opportunities Thanks. to become the first women's singles player to contest three Super Series finals. Finals. Oh, that's going wide. Yeah. So this over. This match point is squandered. 19 20. Shot. What a fabulous women's singles. And for Tai Su Ying, a first ever victory in her sixth attempt against Sun Yu of China. History is made because for the first time ever, a women's singles player will be in the final. But one by Tai Su Ying. 21-19, 21-19, the scoreline in a match lasting just over 50 minutes. What a performance from Tai Su Ying. Well, she held her nerve, did... Tai Su Ying, and all credit to her. The world number one is through to the final. has been made because tomorrow Tai Su Ying will contest the final for a third time. The first player to do so in the women's singles. But who will she play? Will it be the Olympic silver medalist Pusala Venkata Sindhu or will it be a repeat of the 2014 Super Series finals and her opponent Sung Ji Hyung? We will find out with this afternoon's session. But that concludes this morning's session 
here on semi-finals day. It all started with the Olympic champions uh, beating the Olympic silver medalists. Matsutomo and Takahashi, two straight games against Yule and Pedersen. Then in the men's singles, Tian Haowei, the left-hander. Well, it was a thrilling three game and he was so strong in that three games against Jano Jorgensen. So the left-hander, Tian Haowei, safely through to the final. Then in the women's doubles with the two-time former world junior champions, Chen Ching Cheng and Zha Yi Fan was simply too good. They had to come back from a long way down in that second game, though. And then the mixed doubles will the defending champions, the only defending champions from last year. Mr. and Mrs. Adcock came through in three games in a repeat of last year's semi-final, and it's a repeat result as well because they're through to the final once more. And as we've just seen, Tai Su Ying, the world number one, recording her first ever victory over Sun Yu in her sixth attempt and it means that Tai Su Ying will contest a third Super Series final tomorrow at the Super Series finals. So this evening's session, this afternoon session, which will start in just a little over half an hour, we start with the European champions in the men's doubles up against the number one seeds, Komora and Sonoda. Then it's the Olympic bronze medalist, Victor Axelsson, up against the number two seed, Somwan Ho. And then it's a women's singles that I was telling you about. Then the mixed doubles with three-time former champions, Fisher Nielsen and Pedersen, up against the former world junior champions. And then we finish actually with men's doubles. It says women's doubles there, it's men's doubles. The two-time beaten finalists, Chai Biao and Hong Wei, up against the Olympic silver medalists, Govi Shen and Tan Wee Kiong. So lots more action to come. We will be back in a little over half an hour's time with the next five semi-finals. Plenty to look forward to. Hope you'll be able to join us very soon indeed for the next semi-final session.